Hey, this is Taylor with iFixit. Samsung's new Galaxy Buds Live, more like Galaxy Beans, am I right? Are the newest buds on the block, featuring a new open sound design with active noise cancellation and up to six hours of battery life. Previous Galaxy Buds have been among the most repairable we've seen, so I'm curious what compromises their engineers might have had to make to bring this form factor to life. Hopefully they're not just full of glue. Before we dive in though, we turn to our friends at Creative Electron for an x-ray sneak peek at what we might find inside these bean-like contraptions. As the x-ray bean spins, we can see that the 12mm speaker driver and what looks like a button cell battery take up most of the space inside, with a bean-shaped circuit board laying over them. If you look carefully, you can also spot the three microphones and what looks like a Phillips screw. These look really cool, let's get them open. Like most buds, these beans sit in a wireless charging case. And the first thing that you can notice is the seam here between the mystic bronze finish and this plastic finish on the underside. I'm going to try to get in through this seam. So to get this separated, we are going to put it in a vise, which is quickly becoming our go-to accessory to get into these buds. Now that there's a gap, I'm going to try and insert an opening pick and slide it around to try and separate the two halves. These really didn't take too much prying. They're actually some of the easiest buds we've ever opened. Hold on just a minute. Editor, zoom and enhance. It looks like Samsung knew these were beans all along. All right, back to the teardown. In the top half of the bud, we can see this silver gasket, which is lightly adhered in place. This contributes to the bud's IPX2 water resistance rating. On this other side, we have a press connector here, just one lonely IC, and then this looks like a microphone. The ribbon connector and the microphone look like they can come up, so that will be our first step here. It also looks like this pink bracket is just clipped in place here. I'm going to try and pry that up with my spudger. And now we can see the motherboard. It looks like the motherboard is just adhered in place on top of this other pink bracket, so I'm going to use my spudger to try and pry it up. On the first side of the board, we see a Broadcom low power Bluetooth audio system on chip and one of the three microphones each bean is equipped with. On the other side, we can see a bunch of other ICs, a second microphone, and the power contact that connects to the battery. With the motherboard out of the way, it looks like there's just one more pink bracket we need to dispose of. This one is screwed in place, so I'm going to use my Phillips double zero driver to get rid of that. Now I'm going to pry up this pink bracket with my spudger. The battery is free to come out at this point, but it's held down by the base duct on this driver. So what we need to do is slightly lift up the driver so that the battery can come free. This battery is a Varda CP1254 rechargeable lithium ion button cell, identical to the one we found in the original Galaxy Buds. Unfortunately, these have become harder to find online, but at least the repair is pretty easy if you can find one. With the battery out of the way, you can see there's not much left in the case here, but it does look like there could be some more chips or a board under this last pink bracket, so let's get that out of the way. Once we lift up that pink board, the driver comes out along with the charging contacts and a microphone. Even though we were able to lift up one side of the pink bracket pretty easily, you can tell that the far side is strongly adhered in place. This is the one place inside this whole bud that Samsung has used strong adhesive. Okay, that bud disassembly was leagues better than what I was expecting. I knew based on previous buds that Samsung could cram a lot of technology into a small package without sacrificing repairability but I was a little concerned that all that would go out the window with this new design. That's definitely not the case here though. My one concern so far is having to displace the speaker to get to the battery, but hopefully that won't mess with the sound of the buds too much after reassembly. Moving on to the case, I'm gonna try and stick an opening pick in here and see if we can get in without any heat or even our trusty vise. Well, that came off pretty easily. Inside we can see the charging contacts here and this black support bracket, which is pretty standard for Galaxy Buds cases that I've seen. That is held in place with four screws, so I'm gonna get that out of the way.
Once I release all those clips, that support bracket comes loose with the top half of the case here. Then in the lower half, you can see we have the motherboard and a battery underneath it. To get to that, I'm gonna need to get rid of this metal bracket over the USB-C port, which is held in place with a couple screws. And it looks like there's one more screw holding the board itself in place. So the board is loose, but it's not coming up all the way quite yet. It looks like the battery is connected on these solder pads and underneath the board, the battery has another plastic bracket here. So I need to loosen that and then they should come out together. So unfolding this little package here, I can see I was wrong about those solder pads. It's the wireless charging coil that's connected here. The battery is connected with these contact pins. So to get to the battery, we'll probably have to peel off the charging coil. And then I'm guessing this is adhered in place. Just unthread the cable there and the battery's free. The case battery comes in at 1.81 watt hours, which is substantially bigger than the battery in the Buds and the Buds Plus cases. All right, with everything in pieces, it's time to give these beans a score. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Live scored an eight out of 10 on our repairability scale. For their simple opening procedure, impressively modular construction, and easily replaceable batteries. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and get subscribed for more wireless earbud content coming up. We still have to take a look at the Google Pixel Buds, the OnePlus Buds, and the Microsoft Surface earbuds. See you then.